Welcome back to eBay's TV. I'm Allison Godlove. Joining us now in the studio is Raphael Domjean. He is the founder and pilot of Solar Stratos. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank yes, you. it's great to see you. How are you feeling about eBay's this week? I like it's nice. It's look, it's and there is nice people, nice company, and we are happy to be uh, in eBay's in uh, this year. Yeah, it's wonderful. Very exciting time, but also an exciting time to talk about. For the first time ever, you're going to take a solar-powered plane into the stratosphere. Talk to me all about this. It's, we will try to do it. First yeah. of all, it's not done already. And it's been the first time that a man go with a solar aircraft in the stratosphere mm -hmm. because there is already an aircraft, Helios, who went to the stratosphere but without uh, anybody on board. It was a, a drone. You know, so the goal is really to the, the final goal is really to go the, as the highest as possible and to go to the stratosphere, just powered by the sun. So this feels like you know something that you would talk about that would be down the road into the future, but that future in this technology is happening right now. Yeah, today you can fly with an electric aircraft, you can fly with a solar aircraft. Uh, solar impulse have been around the world with a solar aircraft. Uh, I jumped from my aircraft, so I was the first uh, to jump from a, from an electric and a solar aircraft. So it's coming, you know, it's like uh, the, the border, the white border 100 years ago. So now we have to rewrite the story, yep. but with, uh, with a plane that doesn't uh, burn uh, fuel right. and doesn't uh, send any CO2 in the atmosphere. Which that is the epitome of sustainability and really the goal behind all of this that you're talking about it, to protect the climate and the CO2 emissions. It's exactly this. You know, our main goal is to promote uh, solar energy and uh, electric aircraft uh, to uh, show that we can fly. It will be still possible to fly in the world of tomorrow without CO2 and without noise. It will be even better than what we have today. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for the future of aviation? It means that one day we will not have, uh, I don't know, maybe it will be in 50 years or, or 100 years, but one day we will do, do not have any more any fuel any fossil fuel on, the, on this planet. So if we want to continue to fly, we need to find as soon as possible a way to, to, to leave this type of energy and to go on another, another one. And this, we are uh, thinking that it's possible to do with, with electric aircraft and with uh, renewable energies. When are you thinking that this could happen? When with, about what? With taking the solar powered plane into the stratosphere. Ah, we hope that it could be maybe possible. Uh, this year, the goal is to go at 10,000 meters, so to be already the highest uh, ever electric aircraft and solar aircraft. So if we can do this fight this year, maybe next year, mm -hmm. uh, if it's possible, uh, we will try to, to fly next year into the stratosphere. What is taking place between now and next year? Talk to me about some of the processes that are happening. Oh, we have many things. Uh, we will bat uh, Le Bourget, you know, the, the famous uh, air show in Paris uh, in June. And then the goal is to fly in July and August to, to try to go to this uh, 10,000 meters uh, to see if everything is working. And then we have to see what will be the performance of the plane uh, in order to see if we can go to the stratosphere. Wonderful. We still don't know what we want to do. Nobody has done this before, even nobody tried it before. So it's a big first and uh, every day we try to go a little bit further. Nobody's done this before. What are some of the questions that are still maybe being answered or some of the things that you're still looking at as you prepare for this first time ever flight? Uh, of course, you need to have enough energy. You know, For this, you need to have a really good battery. You need to see about the temperature of the system because uh, we will go very high. It's very it's cold, of course, but the, 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 the air, it will be really seen at, the, at that place. So yeah, there is many challenges. We have to fly with a spacesuit. We are going so high that I need to wear a spacesuit, otherwise I will die in a, in a few seconds. So uh, we have uh, many challenges uh, before uh, to, we will reach the stratosphere. Yeah, you, you are the pilot. Talk about that experience and what that is like to be the pilot of this. For me, yes, to fly in a solar aircraft, it's an amazing experience because uh, when you fly and you can see that you are recharging at the same time you fly and you recharge the battery. And this as a pilot, it's completely amazing. So when you fly, uh, you are in the middle of the flight and you have less energy at that moment than when you land. Mm -hmm. And that's not really natural. So that's you know, to fly without noise, without emitting any CO2 and you recharge the battery, you fly just with the power of the sun. And this is completely amazing. Yeah, well, 
wonderful. Now you have a session coming up tomorrow at 11.30. Talk a, lo a little bit about that session. Uh, we will uh, show to the, to the public what we can, what we already did with Solar Stratos. We did a lot. Uh, we did already a few firsts and we will explain what is the future of uh, Solar Stratos and also why we are doing this uh, type of project. Wonderful. Well, hopefully people can attend that session, learn a little yep. bit more. Wonderful. Raphael, thank you for coming by to talk with thank us. Thank you so much for inviting us. Yeah, thank you very much. You. Thank you. Bye-bye.